All right, hello. This is Queen of Pentacles, Sarah three three three. Y'all, let's pull out some more. Let's pull out some energy. Let's see what. Let's see what the collective energy need to know. These two people. Hmm. This is you being real sweet, real kind, real nice, real loving. Take care of anybody, but it's still two people. What happened here? Oh, somebody having a problem. Okay. I feel like somebody was hiding something and didn't tell you something here. Let me see. Because I pulled out, you know, this is you. Being real sweet, real loving, real kind, real friendly, real nice, um, man or woman. But there's some confusion here. I want to do a love reading, though. But if this is a love reading, yeah, I got the lovers, though. That's good. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be an age difference between you and the person that you're dealing with or a maturity level difference. Betrayal, conflict, there was an argument here and a disagreement, temperance here. Somebody seems a little bit aggravated. Looks like you confused too, yep. Somebody could be confused here, yep. I'm good. Someone here is stressed out in their head and a nine of swords energy. You was feeling somebody energy or something like that. Next card. Okay, three majors. Somebody got a lot going on then. Work. You could have been dealing with a non-committal energy and everything like that. Here, selfish energy too. Somebody didn't tell you something. I told you. I feel like somebody was hiding something here. Um, who's in their head? What's this about money? Here. This could be a baby mama. There could be some betrayal, some conflict, and an argument here between you and somebody here. That, I don't know. It looked like a breakup to me. Somebody, yeah, didn't tell you something here. I'm good. Somebody wanted to be left alone, but I feel like somebody had a date or not for everybody, but for someone, they had a date. If this is a date, because, you know, I did want to do a little message, but somebody screwed up here and they dealing with somebody who was trying to fix it. But when the Knight of Swords came out, it came out on Tammy right here. Um... No communication. Yeah, bad communication skills. So, it's like at the last minute. So, this was like the last minute here that someone showed up or whatever who wanted to work something out with this person right here. And, like, this person was in a third party and didn't tell you. That's what I'm saying. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody who was very manipulative manipulative to you was having trouble with somebody else they in the nine of swords energy here when the nine of swords showed up it showed up on top of the king of wands i mean the knight of wands knight of swords the selfish person here who wanted to get rid of this person right here okay so somebody didn't tell you they was already in a situation they acted like they were single though because i'm good i'm single knight of swords is usually single i'm not gonna lie and the queen of wands Usually a single too. Um, somebody showed up and didn't call first. Okay. Yep. This person right here showed up. Then there was an argument. Possibly even a fight. Between the lovers and stuff like that. Some confusion. Somebody you really liked it though. You felt betrayed by this person here. You was confused by this person too. Because they was in a situation. They had a baby mama or something like that. Okay. Or 
the woman had a child. I mean, it don't even look like it don't even look like it was this person's baby. It looked like it could have been like a um a step kid. Okay, a victory card is at the bottom of the deck, so you could have saw this as a victory. Yep, came out too. So you're gonna get some victory with finances here. Wish fulfillment. I feel like you was somebody wish fulfillment here. This person found you very attractive, very beautiful, but they didn't show up. They had a, like a leave me alone attitude or no call, no show attitude. <laughs> this is horrible. Um, yeah, they upset. They mad to. They were dealing with a loud mouth person that they were dealing with, but I feel like they was they was the one with the loud mouth. Um, they were loud and they were talking shit to whoever they was with. They didn't tell you about it or nothing like that. They put themselves in a situation here. But they offered you something. They offered you a date or something like that, but it didn't happen. I don't know what's going on with these people love life right now. It seems like everybody is lying and in third parties and stuff like that. They see you as an empress here. They see you as very sweet and everything like that. But you could have felt betrayed by this person too. You could have said some stuff to this person too. You were like, fuck it, I'm good here too. And you left, okay? You left gone with this ending right here because of the confusion that this person had going on that they did not tell you about here too. Something about a phone number or... I mean, this could have been like a, a first date, blind date. Something like that here. Just don't expect too much out of this person if you're going on this date. All right? Because this person not going to say anything to you. Probably not even going to answer you or nothing like that. They in their head, though. They regretting, you know, not telling you the truth or something like that. Your, or the commu bad communication. They in their head. See? They regretting it. They head down. They disappointed. They unhappy. Here, too. You could have just left. You could have just left. I'm not saying they had the loud mouth with you. Maybe they had the loud mouth with you, but I feel like they had the loud mouth with this person right here. Right here. Yeah. A bunch of unhappy folks right there. So, what happened here? Judgment. Yeah. An ex from the past. So, somebody didn't tell you about an ex from the past. They really liked you. You were looking at this person like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I feel like, are you stupid or something? Like that. You could have been dealing with a Pisces or Aquarius or something like that. But anyway, let's look at new love. Because this person right here, this show didn't work out at all. It was some kind of new beginning here. But things didn't go nowhere. For sure didn't. So you like, forget it, I'm going to do me. I mean, it kind of confused you, stressed you out, everything. Because you was like, what's wrong with this person right here? They didn't tell you about something, that's why. They were dealing with somebody else. They were trying to get rid of them, but they didn't get rid of them in time before you showed up. Throw one on the Empress here, the mother figure, the confusion, because it's already, remember, it was two people there. So you like this person and everything like that. Oh, somebody else invited them over. So the other person didn't even know they was coming. They were like, oh my God, what you doing here? So they were like, oh my God, what you doing here? I didn't even know you was coming. So when you tried to contact them or anything like that, you didn't hear nothing. Yeah, conflict, betrayal, you didn't hear nothing. Death card, that's hearing nothing. No communication, no talking. I did see the two of swords somewhere. Yep, are you stupid or something right here? What the fuck is wrong with you? Or something like that, okay? So, what happened between these two people? Justice, money, darn. Um, you were looking all good, too, when you showed up to nothing. Uh-huh. This person didn't tell you about this situation right here. This is a new date. Nobody didn't tell you about this other person. A Cancer, a Pisces, what else? A Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could have something to do with this. Aries, Libra, or Taurus. Let me look. Anything else? Cold, attitude. The other person had a real attitude with the person who was their ex. That they didn't know was showing up. <laughs> and um, they put you on hold. They're going to want to talk to you again, though. Okay? Because they in their head, they real unhappy. You was unhappy and they unhappy, too. Both of y'all unhappy. All right. So, for some reason, damn, they depressed. Sad. 
I mean, but I feel like you was upset too, sure. Um, they're going to try to work it out with you some type of way or whatever because you gave them the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords attitude, and you was like, what was that about and everything like that? But they want a new love with you. But they ain't tell you that they already had something to go going on. So forget them because you got new love coming in. Ace of Cups did come out, thank God. And new money too coming in right here. Somebody could be feeling sad and guilty and depressed about something here, okay? So somebody had to make a choice. You know, they had to make a choice, a last-minute choice. To get rid of the other person and everything like that. But they got rid of them too late. Alright. I mean. I mean. It's like. I want to say this person was excited. Yep. Excited to see you and whatever. But the communication was bad. And. The argument between them and the other person though. It was horrible. This person was not. They were running their mouth, cussing, fussing. What you doing here? What you doing here? What? Why you here? Why you here? You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. So they were trying to push them out the door. They were trying to push them out the door and everything like that. You really liked this person here too, but mm -mm, you don't see no, you know, nothing really. I mean, this person probably gave you shady vibes or something like that or something like that. Because to see seven of cups, confusion with you right here. Independent, you single and everything like that. So you was gonna give somebody a chance. Well, let me see. Hold on. You really was gonna give somebody a chance. <clears throat> hey man, they had you waiting, or it didn't that happen at all? You depressed. You didn't even know what was going on with this non-committal, no-show kind of person right here. You was like, forget it, forget it. This other person still in love with them though. This other person still in love with them, and the other person don't want them. Here. No, they don't. Because they had options, and the other person had options, too. Whoa. It's like they made a date with you and a date with somebody else at the same time. Yeah. It's an age difference too. This person immature. Yeah, they like they like the you though. One, two, three. Yeah, and a younger person age difference here. With a lover situation, lovers came out twice. Somebody could be a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here too. Um, so the communication was bad between y'all here. This person rushing in right here. Um, to talk about something that you did for them, money. Um. Here, this person though, I wouldn't even worry about them. You got new love coming in. Stay out of third parties. Like everybody in a third party, right here. Wow, they want to be with you. This person might still want to be with. Nah, they still want to be with you. For real, I heard Mike and Tony, and Angela, and I saw Tammy with the lover situation. So. This other person that showed up, hmm. Yeah, it's like this other person had to run out and take take care of some business real quick. They try, yeah, Page of Swords. Why they watching you like that, though? They watching you, they mad. They real mad at everything like that. They wanted you to wait or something. Um, They rushing back in to you right here. They don't want to hear no either but you probably ain't gonna have time for them and they gonna get mad that's what i see them getting mad at yeah because look like they're begging a little bit okay i mean look like they really like you too but boy, 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 you got new love coming in a victory with new love maybe it just wasn't right for you to be with the other person because they had too much going on so you got a victory with new love coming in right here too somebody might get mad about the whole situation because you might tell the other person just to get back just to get back so, yep, that's the truth. Well, let me look. The Queen of Swords. You're telling this person you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear nothing that this person right here got to say. Or nothing like that. Because this person was really cold to you. Here, they was really, really cold to you. So, somebody was still dealing with somebody else. They sure was. Anyway, let's let's see. Um, okay, look at this person right here, though. 
they sneaky, they a cheater. They threatening somebody here. They crazy about you. They fussing with somebody here. They talking shit. They getting into fights with this other person right here too. There was some conflict that happened. It looked like it got real bad. You could be dealing with a Leo. There was a fierce around the money issue. Something had ended for this person here. Cause I feel, oh yeah, this person was trying to end something with this other person here. They whole life is off track. Let me look. I their whole life is off track. But you got new love coming in. That's good. But let's look at a little bit this, you know, look at this a little different or something. Because somebody got a devil baby mama or something like that that they didn't tell you about. You already know about that. They were drinking, they were partying. Now they were drunk here. And I feel like at this time here, they were very manipulative to you here too. And um they were dealing with somebody else here. And the only way they can get rid of them was to leave with them or something like that. They was thinking about themselves at the time. At this time, they want to apologize to you. But I saw new love, so I'm glad I saw new love coming in right here. But I feel like somebody like, I ain't got time for love or something like that. So, But this other person going to stand their ground to try to be with you. To try to be with you. To say sorry to you and everything like that. They, they feel like you're very beautiful and everything like that here. Two, you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody here, I mean, man, it almost looked like the police was called and stuff like that. Two, like this person was trying to run this other person out for real. There was a lot of confusion over there, for real. And this other person was cussing and fussing at this other person here like crazy. Yeah, and you, you felt betrayed by them, for real. Like you really liked them and everything like that. They could have been dealing with a Cancer, a Libra, or a Sagittarius, or a Leo. Um, here or Taurus or Pisces, Aries, Leave or Taurus. So you are getting a victory here with commitment. Somebody sad and depressed though. This um, person who was playing games and sad and depressed here, but the other person was like coming after them because they was worried about money. They needed money from your person here too. The other person owed them money or something like that. So the other person was coming to collect. So they had got a phone call from these two people here that was friends. Oh. So those two people that was friends right there, the other person had told the person, they thought they trusted this person here. And the other person was like, why you call her? Because the other person had told the other, okay, put it like this. So you're the person that you were going to talk to hook up with, be with, go on a date with, blind date, something like that. Yeah, they had secrets and stuff like that. They couldn't keep nothing to themselves. They was talking about you right here. They found you very special and everything like that. They saw you as a victory. They had manifested you and everything like that. They saw you as a new beginning. You finna get some new money too. Um, I feel like at this time that this other person right here was knew that this other person was expecting you. And they gave this other person a phone call. They gave this other person a phone call right here. And because they were friends, they close, they real close. So the other person was like, no, you ain't finna hook up with nobody. You ain't finna do that to my friend or nothing like that. So she called the other, I mean, yeah. So she called the other person over there and caused some kind of confusion with this person right here. Told her to come over. And everything like that. And, you know, come over here and act like, you know, you were just visiting me. So, yeah, because all these people live together in the same house. <laughs> or they know each other or something like that. So, the other person called. She called her friend and told her that there's another option and somebody's coming to see your person. Who didn't really want to see this other person or nothing like that. But see, this is a little gossiping person. So they went and told, they told the other person, yeah, I got somebody coming over here. And I'm finna go be, I'm finna see this other person and everything like that. So the other person, they went to mess it up because they were like, nah, you ain't finna do my friend like that. What the hell you think you're doing? And everything like that. So this person, when they found out what they did, they went off on their other friend. They was like, wait a minute, how? 
Why? I mean, what you doing over here? I'm good. Leave me alone. Why don't you go on some damn way? And they try to push that person out the door. They felt really betrayed. They really said they really fucked up right now, too. And they didn't answer you or nothing. They didn't answer your phone call or nothing. Here, they had you waiting, and you just said, forget about it, and you cut this person off, okay? But I feel like for some reason, you took a loss. Maybe if you drove over there, you spent your gas money. Because I feel like you went over there to go see this person. And, you know, so you was like, well, shit, I want my money back. <laughs> Yeah, because this person was lying about something. They could have been dealing with a Pisces. Anyway, let's do let's do the new love. 20. Okay, okay. <sighs> Maybe that's how much you spent. $20. <laughs> See, this person like, I want my money back. For real. A giver and a taker. Yeah, somebody flipping out right here. I feel like this person want to give something back to you or whatever. I mean, let me see what they're going to do about your money that you spent going over there in your gas tank. They ain't got it. <laughs> see, they were gonna, you were going to give this person a chance right here. And, yeah, the other person, I thought so. The other person was jealous, too. So, the other person that was there was really jealous. It almost looked like, you know, it was an age difference between the two females, too. They friend... Shit, I heard they goddaughter. So this person got their hand out right there. It made some kind of, Yeah, the other person was jealous when the other person told them that they, they was going to have a company. You know, they was jealous too because the other person was really excited to see you. But this other person did lie. They didn't tell you that they had something going on. Here, either. And you really liked this person and stuff, but... You were looking at a snake that you were dealing with here. And this person was really, really happy. Really wanted to see you. Now they worry here to if you're going to accept they. No, nah, they, they apology. They coming back in with love, okay? Whoa, they flipping out too. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, I got conflict. Y'all could argue. The other person telling you. That they got rid of their problem and everything like that here. Wow. There they go. They came right back out the same way. What is that, y'all? Spirit, what's this? Wait a minute. Unblock me. Did you block them? They want to explain. They was unstable. They can't go. They can't. They don't even know. How to talk to you? They they got rid of the person. I thought I felt like they got rid of the person too late. Here. Um. Wow. They feeling some type of way. I know that much. Oh, they very unhappy. The sun in reverse. They like just my look right here. This person probably ain't gonna talk to me no more. Man, I'm gonna try to call this person. But the other person ain't going to talk to me no more. And, I mean, all them people over there, because it was other people over there that came out the same way. But it came out all the reverse. Come back. Okay, move down, come back. They want you to come back. Um, No good news. Um, They're going to try to tell you. They're going to try to compromise or something, okay? Because they had got the king of cups. They like they don't even want that other person. That's what they said. Here they wanted you. That's what they said. Here they was excited about being with you. They want you to, you know, fix this with them, talk to them, and everything like that. They heartbroken because they were very tempted by you or something like that. They was um a liar though. They straight up liar. And they was giving the two, but I don't feel like they was giving the two. I feel like the other person is obsessed with them and is stalking them and won't leave them alone. But they didn't tell you the truth. Anyway, let's keep going. 
All right, spirit, what, what does the collective need to know? What's the, what's the last thing the collective need to know? This person pissed. King of Swords. Um, I feel like that. Okay. What else? What they so mad for, King of Swords? What's they what's the what's the what's they mad for? That's some trouble. There is some trouble. Yeah, the, uh, not for everybody, but for somebody, the police got called and some handcuffs got put on somebody here. Um, they feel like somebody messed up their new beginning. They look pissed a little bit. Anyway, it don't matter. Now I see somebody here. Um. I'm going to be honest. I feel like somebody put a spell on your love life. This person. An ex. Yep. I do. Yeah. Yeah. You got returned to send it up, but I feel like somebody did put a spell on somebody's love life here. Yo, they trying not to worry about something here. They the devil. Um, somebody did a fix or something on somebody's love line because you don't want them no more. Here, whoa, yep. Communication bad between you and this person here. And if you're wondering what happened to your love life, that's what happened. You're like, what in the hell? I ain't never had no problems like this right here. To all these, oh, look, it ain't working. Somebody see you as very beautiful and everything like that. Somebody want to control your love life. Yep, that's why I saw the emperor in the reverse. They pissed. They could be spiritually running off, running off everybody. But I'm going to be honest, not for everybody, but for some people, nobody put a spell on your love life. You were being, you was being warned. This person was being warded off. Rejection is God's protection, right? Nobody, you know, for some people, yeah, a spell was put on your love life, but... Is somebody protecting you like crazy here? Like, I told you not to go over there. This angry energy. Somebody is trying to keep people away from you. I don't care what you do. Um, I don't care who you try to date. If it ain't right, it's one of your angry ancestors. It's a grandfather or a father figure that... Stopping you. They stopping you big time. From dealing with certain people. And you wondering why you just single and mess. And why things ain't working for you. Because I saw a man. It's a man. It's a grandfather figure. Father figure. Or something like that. And because love offers do be coming into you. But they don't work out. Because you be making the wrong decision and everything like that. The way that person flipped down, I looked at it again. Yeah, judgment karma from the past. Show enough feels. Because if, if you look at the judgment card here, that came out right there. You know? But if you look at the judgment card, that's ancestors and stuff. They flipping out. They flipping out and they like, No. They can't touch you. They pushing these people away. Um, it don't mean that they're gonna push everybody away because I still feel like your love life is gonna improve for you. Yep. Yep. Because everything else going good for you. See, somebody see you as innocent. You got an innocent vibe, a very innocent vibe to you, but you untouchable and everything like that. Is somebody on the other side I mean, somebody yeah, it's an angel. Really, 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 really fighting like this person is like 
I'm finna make it work. This shit ain't gonna work. Like, somebody is over there. You know, you, you can't do nothing but say thank you. Yep, there they go again. There they go again. This person is very unhappy with the, um, with a love offer. Because they know something about this person. Here, they want you to stay away from this person or something like that. Here. So if you go if you go towards any cheaters, players, anything like that, Mr. Robert over there or Mr. George or Mr. Henry, you know, is not gonna let you here. No, honey. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's almost like they're picking them out for you. Yep. They angry. Here. If you go to, yeah, any any mind game people, anything, it's, it may not work for you. Conflict, yep, this person going to start some shit over there on the other side. Yep, they watching everything. They protecting you here. Mm-hmm. They seen something, that's why. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like at this time here, so expect, you know, a lot of things, you know, a lot of dates and relationships. It may end for you. Somebody, okay. If 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 this if this ancestor feel like you you're threatened by any kind of way, yeah. But this right here is about health. It was a no go. Confusion with somebody's health. This person over here don't tell people things that they're on medicine and everything. Yeah, they taking medicine here. And for somebody, somebody didn't tell you that they was a, you know, crazy person or psycho. So for somebody, even a, yeah, a killer. It's a killer. They went to jail before they got off for something that they did and everything like that. Yeah, it may not work. And for somebody, the um, person didn't tell you that they was a, you know, they did all kind of shit, okay? Yeah, that's why the person had the handcuffs on them here. You probably had a dream here, yep, yep. You probably had a weird dream or something about this person or something like that, yeah. So the energy just ain't right. It just ain't going to work. So, yep, you was sent back before anything ever even happened. You was protected. So your little date was ruined by a ghost. Yep. Say new romantic love. Let's get some messages then. But you do got new love coming in. But everybody can't be with you at all. Get out of my house. See, I told you earlier, somebody had told the other person to get, they had something going on. They sorry. They're going to tell you that they sorry. But I feel like, you know, yeah, they said they're a weirdo. That's the reason why, you, yeah, 888, you might be seeing um, the numbers 888. They can't take no. They're going to, you know, they was having a lot of sex. They ain't got no job or they lied about their money or something too. Um... They wanted to be around you. I ain't gonna lie. They nasty. They crazy or something. But they really nice. But they faced in a lot of karma for something that they did. Yeah, because this person... Oh, this person abusive. Too, or crazy. Um, Yeah, it's some things that they were hiding that they thought that, you know, nobody was gonna find out about. They didn't tell you about either. They really like you and everything like that. They probably come off real sweet. They want you in their life here. Um, this ain't the kind of person that you want to really deal with, though. I mean, so you be like, okay, why this ain't working for me? Untouchable, because you untouchable. You protected from somebody who ain't right. They can't touch you. You're too innocent to be touched. You're like an angel or something. So it ain't going to work. This person had a lot going on. Like they didn't tell you too. So your little date ain't work. Blind date. That's probably why somebody was going on a blind date. 
blind date with somebody they did not know and you didn't know enough about this person to even be dealing with this person because they went right there's somebody who you shouldn't been dealing with or you know who you should you know and it wasn't up to you this time it wasn't up to you you know if you keep making the wrong choices and stuff like that they can't touch you for real life um because trust me they very mad about not being bit not being able to touch you it was something that was going to happen that you wasn't going to expect or something that you would have found out about this person later on that you would have been like oh my god regret so thank you ancestors for stopping your little date your little dinner date blind date something like that just it is what it is you'll be okay you know all right all right I'm going to show my leg the whole damn time. <laughs> it's all right.